Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use proxies in DaVinci Resolve to speed up your workflow and keep things running smoothly. Let's get started. Proxies are low resolution copies of your video files that replace the original high res files while you edit. They're much smaller in size, meaning they're easier on your computer's processing power. The great thing is, once you're done editing, DaVinci Resolve automatically switches back to the original high-res footage for export. Before generating proxies, let's configure some settings. Go to Preferences, then Media Storage. Decide where you want your proxies to be saved. If you want them saved in the same folder as your original files, select Proxy Subfolders in Media File Locations. If you prefer to save them elsewhere, choose Use Project Settings, then click Save. Navigate to File, then Project Settings. Go to Master Settings, and scroll down to Optimize Media and Render Cache. For proxy media resolution, I recommend setting it to a quarter. If you're still experiencing lag, you can lower it down to 1 8 or 1 16. For the media format, choose H.264. Next, under Working Folders, select Proxy Generation Location. By default, proxies are saved in your Videos folder, but you can change this by clicking on Browse. Click Save. Now that the settings are ready, let's generate proxies. Select the footage in your media pool, right-click, and choose Generate Proxy Media. While proxies are being generated, you won't be able to use Resolve. So this works great if you're working with a few files. I'll show you another method shortly that allows you to generate proxies and continue working on Resolve. Once proxies are created, click on the Film Reel button up here. Click the drop-down and select Prefer Proxies. You will now see the proxy symbol on your clips. Alternatively, you can enable or disable proxies by going into Playback, than proxy handling. If you have a lot of proxies to generate but want to keep editing, the Blackmagic Proxy Generator is a great tool. It should be installed on your computer automatically when you installed Resolve. Go to Start, then Blackmagic Design. If you don't see the Blackmagic Proxy Generator here, you can simply go to this PC, go into your C drive, Project Files, Blackmagic Design, then DaVinci Resolve. Scroll down till you see Proxy Generator. You can right click here, then go to Send To and create a desktop shortcut. Open up the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. First, you'll need to create a watch folder that contains the media you want to convert. Select the folder. Now set your proxy format. You can add or remove watch folders by clicking the Add or Remove buttons. Clicking the Show button will open the watch folder. Click Start to begin generating proxies. The proxy symbol will show up on the clip as the proxies are being created. Once the status shows as completed, click on the Stop button. If you want to copy your proxies to another folder, Click on Extract Proxies and select the new folder. You can also delete the proxies by clicking the Delete Proxies button. One important note to mention while using the proxy generator is if you plan on slowing down your footage on your timeline, using the proxy generator can cause some issues. In this case, it's best to generate proxies directly in Resolve. By default, DaVinci Resolve exports your project using the original high-resolution files, so you don't need to disable proxies before exporting. However, for peace of mind, you can disable proxies by selecting the Film Reel button and Disable Proxies. If you notice your timeline is still lagging, before you recreate proxies with a lower resolution, try this instead. Go to Playback, then Timeline Playback Resolution. Choose either half or quarter resolution and see if that improves your playback. And that's it. Using proxies in DaVinci Resolve can drastically improve your editing speed. 
Whether you're using Resolve's built-in tools or the proxy generator, this workflow will make your life so much easier. If this video helps you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.